Hello, my name is Victoria and today we are going to talk about what is 403 forbidden and how to fix it. Let's go! A 403 forbidden error occurs when the web server forbids you from accessing the page you are trying to open in your browser. It means that the web server understands the request but can provide additional access. This is because most websites are configured to prevent attackers from accessing the sensitive files by disabling directory browsing. The two most common causes of 403 forbidden errors are wrong file or folder permission settings or incorrect settings in the HD access file. So let's go through the four methods to fix this error. One of the easiest methods to fix 403 forbidden errors is to simply clear your browser's cache and cookies. The website's link might have been changed and the real web link is now different from the cached version. So, the issue should be resolved by clearing the browser's cache and cookies. Keep in mind that deleting cache may cause your next visit to the website to take longer since your browser will request all of the site's files again. Also, clearing the cookies will log off from your websites where you are signed in. So here's how to clear cache and cookies on Google Chrome. If you're using another browser, the process is relatively very similar. Click here on three dots and then press settings. Once you have done that, locate security and privacy settings. Now press on clear browsing data and make sure that all of the checkboxes are checked. Select the time range and click clear data. Once you have finished, try to revisit the website to see if that worked. So as I already mentioned, file and directory permissions are one of the most common causes. When the files are created, they come with the specific default file permissions, which control how you can read, write and execute them. But before we get into this method, I must mention if you are using Hostinger, there is a really great tool that will take care of all of your permission problems just in one single click. Ok, open your Hostinger dashboard and scroll down to the bottom. Under the other category, choose Fix File Ownership and then press Execute. This tool will save you loads of time and will restore all of your files directory permissions to default values. Alright, now let's fix this error by using FTP. First, what you have to do is to configure FTP client and connect it to your website. If you need help with that, Here's a link to our video how to use FileZilla that will explain to you step by step how to do that. Once you connect it, right click public HTML and select file attributes. Now enter permission 755 in the numeric value field, select apply to directories only and press OK. There's the standard practice for file permission using numeric values, so 755 for folders, 644 for static content and 700 for dynamic content. After you're done with that, you will need to repeat the steps we just made. Just change the number from 755 to 644 and apply to files only. So, right click on public HTML press on file attributes, enter 644 and select apply to files only and then press ok. Now try accessing the website and if everything was done successfully the error should be resolved. Ok, now let's try the third method by checking the HD access file. On your HPanel dashboard locate the file manager, if you are using cPanel the steps will be the same. Then open the public HTML directory to find the HD access file. Once you locate the file, right click on it and select download to create a backup. Now as you have a backup you need to delete the HD access file. Ok, let's check the website. If it works perfectly, this means that the HD access file was corrupted and you need to generate a new one. To do that, you are going to need to log in to the WordPress dashboard. Once you've done that, press on Settings and then Permalinks. Don't make any changes while you are on the dashboard and then click Save Changes button on the bottom of the page. This will generate a fresh HD access file for your website. 
Now just load the website and the error should be fixed. All right. If you tried all of the methods I already mentioned but it didn't help, it could be that incompatible or faulty plugin caused the error. So let's fix it. But to not waste any time, don't go by disabling one plugin after another and checking if one of them is causing the issue. I will show you how to disable all of them at the same time and by following the next steps you will be able to detect the issue. Okay. Go to your H panel and locate the file manager and then go to the public HTML. Then you have to find the VP content folder and press on it. In VP folder, check for plugins folder and once you locate that, rename that folder disable plugins to disable all of the plugins that you have. Then try to access the website. If the error is gone, that means that the issue is definitely lies with plugins. What you have to do now is to rename the folder to plugins and work by disabling it one by one to detect which one is faulty. Once you find it, update the plugin if necessary or delete it. And here's our four methods on how to fix 403 forbidden error. I hope it helped and your website is up and running. But if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to Hostinger Academy and till the next time.